Hello there YouTube. This is another unboxing video uh, for my Ender 3 S1 uh, that I got from AliExpress. I've been waiting for some time to get these uh, parts in and eventually they did arrive. Um, uh, I did actually cheat and I opened them beforehand uh, just to check what they were and if they were for my printer and uh, they were. So let's do the unboxing. So the first thing that I have is a Zener diode that you can use for your Noctua fans to take them from 24 volts to 12 volts. Instead of using buck converter, you can use just a Zener diode um, from the cable uh, that goes from your brake board to your um, uh, Noctua fan. Uh, but I do recommend to use these on just a hot end fan, not on the parts cooling fan. Because if you use it on the parts cooling fan, then you will have issues with um, uh, some prints that do need some um, different layers of uh, uh, venting. So if they, if you need 20% of venting instead of 100% all the time, then uh, I do not recommend using these. This is good for the hot end fan, so keep that in mind. Um, I will use this on my Ender 3 V2 once I get the... A sprite extruder pro kit uh, for it i will use one of these for my hot end fan but other than that don't use this well you can but i recommend you not to use on the parts cooling fan uh, another thing that came in is the stepper dampeners um, why did i get these I did use these in the past for my uh, Ender 3 V1s and uh, V2s. I even have these two of these on my Ender 3 V2. Um, I'm guessing these do, these do work, but don't expect them to change the whole experience or whatever, uh, but they do work. Uh, just to make your printer a little more silent, uh, a little less, um, uh, well, noisy uh, in, in general. Um, and if you compare this motherboard or this setup with your Ender 3 V2, if you have already an upgrade for the uh, V4.2.7 motherboard, then you will notice that there is a difference in, in, in noise production, that these are a little more uh, noisy than your uh, V4.2.7 motherboards if you're using it on your printer. So I will use this on the X and the Y axis and um, I hope there is enough space. I do already see that the bed gantry, that there is enough space to put these on, but we will see once we do the uh, installation of it. And there is also here enough space to be able to put these on uh, as well. So this is the second part. And uh, in my opinion, the most important part is this. Uh, I did wait a long time to get these in. These are an upgraded wheels for your, um, well, your Sprite extruder and your bed. Um, why do I want to change these to these ones? These to this is um, the ones that come with the printer are pretty low quality. And you can see this uh, by looking, just looking at it uh, visually, you will see there is some well, wearage, it's wearing pretty fast. Uh, I didn't print that much with my printer and you can already see some red residue uh, collecting on the, on the uh, wheels itself. And especially on your bed, when you're looking on the underneath, you will see some residue, uh, black residue coming out of it. It's just um, a, a sign of um, very fast uh, degradation of those wheels and the, those wheels are not the best quality. So I got these because I used these in the past on my Ender 3 V2. And uh, to be honest, I've, I don't even see any wearage on those printers and I've been using them for, for a long time. And uh, so you can also feel this is a different uh, quality than the ones that come with the printer. Uh, so it's a recommended upgrade. You just need three on the Sprite extruder uh, metal part and you need four on your uh, uh, on your bed. Um, 
if you do these that's enough the these two but if you do it on your uh, gantry here um, you can but I wouldn't recommend to do it because you don't see any wearage on these wheels um, that often because these two are moving uh, maybe ten maybe thousands times more than your uh, height uh, gantry so you can do it if you have enough of these wheels you can but uh, there's nothing that stops you but uh, I wouldn't recommend to be honest uh, because you won't be needing uh, just if you want if you're a perfectionist you can but other than that me personally I won't be doing it uh, these two are enough so uh, in the next uh, few days I will upload some videos about these upgrades if I have enough time because this will take some time to uh, make the ad adjustments uh, maybe I will uh, receive the Sprite Extruder Pro kit on, for my industry V2 uh, in the meanwhile so I will give that um, priority I think because I want to see how it's performing on a Ender Tree V2, uh, how the setup is gonna be looking like. Uh, more excited on those uh, upgrades, but I don't know when it's gonna come in because it's uh, pretty late. Um, also from China, uh, AliExpress, and China was in lockdown apparently, and they didn't want to send those, uh, they couldn't send it to me. And Creality was also having issues with uh, production lines of, of those. And I have seen on YouTube some people have received a Sprite Extruder Pro, but not the kit. Uh, well, you can't install it if you don't have the cable that converts the V4.2.7 motherboard cable assembly to a Sprite Extruder um, cable. And you won't be you won't be able to do anything with that uh, kit. Uh, I mean the the Sprite Extruder. So I did ask it uh, on the seller, uh, and I didn't get a answer yet but it does show on its website that it is the kit with the cables and, and the metal part and everything so i'm hoping i will get the right part um other than that uh, i have a motherboard that's going to come in for the ender tree s1 as well um it is sent finally uh creality was making a problem because of the lockdown as well they said listen we have a lockdown so um within a couple days we are hoping to send your package uh i ha i do have a uh, track and trace now and it's already uh, near me i think uh well near me is like maybe a thousand kilometers away but uh, that's enough uh that means it's on its way to get to me uh anyways guys i hope you liked the video hit the thumbs up if you liked the video hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video uh, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like these or uh, un unboxing or more in improving your printer uh, or whatever uh, thank you for watching bye